There's not a gasoline-powered bike in the street that'll keep up with that. Sure. Now it's time for me to give it a dance! <laughs> <laughs> well, hey everybody, it's your good buddy 650 Eep here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do something pretty interesting. Behind me, I've got my 2016 Kawasaki Ninja H2, also known as the world's most powerful H2. I'm going to take it up to Sills Motor Sales where we're going to put it up against BMW's new electric scooter, the CE4, to see which one of those machines is fastest from a 0 to 60 sprint. Keep watching, you're not going to want to miss it, but don't forget, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. For returning subscribers, tap that bell, and you'll get notified when new content is uploaded. Did I just take a time capsule back into the 1960s? Ah, what the hell is this? <laughs> is that thing even still on the road, more or less towing something? CE4 electric scooter. It can give you up to 80 miles range on a full charge of its battery. It is a beautiful, beautiful scooter. Full LED lights on this machine. 12.5 inch thin film transistor screen that keeps the exact same format of other BMW motorcycles. So if you're familiar with that, operating this thing is a breeze. You've got the wonder wheel over here. Look at that. And it even has a reverse. Uh, to use it, you have to hold the reverse button and give it throttle at the same time, and then the scooter will engage in reverse. I like the uh, tiny integrated kicking stand right here that neatly folds away into the side of the scooter. That's pretty cool. You almost miss it at first. And then uh, there it is. It also has a center stand, 15 inch rear tire, pretty nice and lots and lots of storage look at this rivian style center pass through that could fit probably an adult size helmet in there i'm sure pretty nice all right before we can ride these things we of course have to weigh them and see what the difference is zach so we got the electric scooter up on the scale with the full tank and a full charge. Because <laughs> yeah, that makes a difference. Yeah, and it's reading 529 pounds. Wow. So it's a pretty hefty little guy. Yeah. Considering we usually try to build stuff around 400 pounds. Yeah. But the H2 is a pretty hefty motorcycle itself. Yours has had some work done to it. Yep. So let's see what it weighs. Yeah, it lines up almost about the same as the scooter. So yeah. your H2 has the same wheelbase as an electric scooter. Yeah. But is 40 pounds less. Wow, 492 pounds. Cool. I don't think I ever saw the H2 on the scale. No. We did the bike build one, but we never did this one. That's crazy. That single-sided swinging arm, as long as, as nice as it is, it's pretty heavy because yes. it's built very well. Yes, And out of one piece of billet aluminum, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's ready to deal with the power, so it probably would be lighter if it had the chintzier two-arm one on yeah. it, you know? But yeah. not much lighter. And it makes so much power, what's it matter? Yeah, exactly. But yeah, still a cool. great looking bike. Yeah. But that's funny cool that it has about the same wheelbase as the scooter. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah, so now you guys will have to go see what's faster. <laughs> well, I guess that thing doesn't have the power that I thought it did. the world's most powerful H2. We'll try it one more time.
know, people are really going to talk about my my claim to having the world's most powerful H2. <laughs> but really, it is. This really is a very, very fast H2. That just happens to be a very fast scooter. <laughs> really nice looking too. All electric. I got beat by a twin turbo, RABT, and now here I am getting smacked around the filthy streets by an electric scooter. games are over we know that that damn scooter can't beat the world's most powerful ninja h2 yes but it was very entertaining nonetheless and now it's my turn to get on this thing give it a test ride and see what the heck it's all about big thanks to king david for participating in this mock mock execution <laughs> it was all fun <laughs> what is it backs a bunch of power out when it spins a tire there's most of the times when i took off yeah around five miles an hour if you hit any bump it spins a tire and it backs power out of it otherwise i would have taken off harder yeah but from like a dead stop it's super super impressive yeah like, internal combustion engine would not till 20 miles an hour there isn't a bike on the planet well unless like something severely built. yeah or if you launch the crap out of your bike but just take it off normal like i did on that there's not a gasoline powered bike on the street that'll keep up with that. sure you have to hold on to it. Yeah, I know. But I want to experience it. Spin the tire a couple times and you felt it fall off on power. Yeah. It's wild. It's super fun to ride. Like, if you lived in like a small community where you didn't have to go over 70 miles an hour all the time, because it goes 79. Yeah. But if you like, if you can live with the fact that it only goes 79 miles an hour and you don't have like a long commute, that, I, I've rode a lot of bikes in my life. That's the most comfortable thing you'll ever ride. Yeah. It makes no noise. Yeah handles bumps well it handles well you turned around super wide in here and i literally just leaned out and dropped it in and parked right there like it's fun it's a ton of fun well now i gotta see what it's all about all right well you heard king david loves this thing now it's time for me to give it a dance <laughs> and i will tell you when you pull it out of a parking lot or something like that and give it full throttle you better hold on <laughs> It's like a, it's like a freaking roller coaster. No lie, because you get that instant torque. It's really amazing. Wow. Do I miss not having the sound of an engine? Not really. Uh, wow. Because in exchange of that, oh look at that, it's got regenerative braking, so it's actually recharging the battery as I let off the throttle let's just call it and look at this you don't need brakes at all to bring this thing to a halt you just stop accelerating that's nice that's really nice Ooh. <laughs> but the nicest part is that instant rush that you get let's see how it corners eh <laughs> look at this thing this is a scooter behaving like this Wow, 79 mile an hour, that quick. This thing is nice. And look at those beautiful, beautiful clear gauges. BMW lovers that have modern BMW motorcycles with the TFT gauges, you're right at home. Because anti-glare, the sun is beaming onto this thing right now and I can clearly see everything. It's amazing. I got the menu buttons and if I click on it, it's oh wow, it's just like it is on my S1000 and my R1250 GS Adventure. Very nice. Very nice. I had previously connected my center helmet 
or my Cine 50 S to it, so I've got the helmet icon there, so I can get calls with uh, pictures and stuff, caller ID with pictures and all that, music album art, super nice. But here we are. Here is the highway version, highway review of this thing, and I like the fact that I can put my feet in a variety of places on this scooter. I can have it up a la Harley style, laid back, whoo, just enjoying this beautiful Midwestern day, or I can have it, you know, in a traditional position. Here we go, another corner. And how's this big scooter going to behave? Well, it's a very windy day here, and this scooter's getting down. I'm, I'm, I'm positioning myself as if I'm on a sport bike. But look at this thing. The corners nicely, very nicely. And I'm full throttle, full throttle on this sucker. Around the corner, really nice. Try that on your everyday normal scooter. Not gonna happen. Obviously, it doesn't have cruise control, probably because it would just suck the life out of the battery. But everything else about this thing's nice. The uh, mirrors are nice. They look like S1000 style mirrors. I'm really impressed with this machine. And just how agile it is, as I do what all the Instagrammers and stuff do, you know, turn from side to side for apparently no reason. I'm actually doing it to try to see how this thing is flickable on the highway, and it is very nice. Let's see if it has self-canceling turn signals. It has self-canceling turn signals, guys! On a scooter, a yet another premium option brought down from its big internal combustion brothers to this scooter. Very nice. Gives me the ambient temperature. 87 degrees Fahrenheit. Or whatever that translates into Celsius. And look, it even has a little tiny baby, I don't know what you would call that, windscreen, if you must. Um, can't see that having any sort of effect on anything, but perhaps doing their extensive wind test, wind tunnel testing, they figured out that that, that that actually does something. Yeah, this thing is super nice. It will definitely go on my list of a scooter to buy if you can deal with the range, you know, if you have time to wait for a full charge. I'm not exactly sure how much or how long it would take to charge this thing on a 110 volt circuit, but it's obviously not as fast as, you know, putting fuel into a fuel tank, right? So if that's something you can get, you can get used to, then yeah, this thing's nice. So I can see in the reflection that the low beam is the right side lights and high beam activates all four of the LED light pods. It looks really cool. The left side seems a bit brighter than the right, but I'm sure that's going to affect the battery life a little bit. But when riding in the daytime, I, I, I take you know a little bit less battery life for more visibility from folks, especially since they can't, they can't hear us at all on this ultra quiet machine, but my take on this machine, very nice. Uh, if I were in the market for an electric scooter, I would definitely have this on my list. $15,000, not that expensive for everything you get on this scooter. Of course, you get the fantastic BMW warranty and everything else, but uh, would I take it over my Ninja H2? <laughs> no, obviously not. Obviously not, but it is a very, very nice scooter indeed. All right, folks, let me show you those headlights I just mentioned. And there's that kicking stand we talked about earlier. So the high beams, look at that. 
they are activated. All four of the LED bulbs are on for the high beams. This thing has steel braided lines. That's a BMW tra tradition. They didn't skimp on that on this scooter. I like that. Steel braided brake lines. Very nice. BMW CE4, if you guys like it, head on over to Seals Motor Sales, take possession of one. You guys are not going to regret it. Thanks for viewing. We'll catch you next time on the 650E YouTube channel.